work that are conditioned and that you envision the spot that they're going to play. Yep. And then you were speaking about how when you are adapting a show that was written in another language, you, in, you lose a piece of the integrity the minute you take it away from its original language. <coughs> yeah. So oh, no, I don't think I said that. Mm. Or oh, if I did, that wasn't my intention. Okay. Or oh, it depends what you mean by integrity. That it, that it inherently is not what was written the minute you take it out of its original language. Okay, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's no, maybe, okay, cool. All right, very good, very good, very good, very good, very good. good. Yep, yeah? okay, cool. Yeah? That the minute you take something away from what it originally was, it's different. Yeah. And so I'm, I'm wondering how you feel about your work traveling. Yeah, well, I think the difference in that, you know, the, 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 uh, and I'm not, it's not a celebration of my own versions of those plays, but for example, when I look at, uh, uh, I'm trying to think of, uh, you know, Peter Gill's version of The Seagull, which I really love, or, um, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, now I'm floundering, which is really terrible, but David Harrow was versions of Strindberg or whatever. Uh, you're, you're, you're in the presence of Harrow or you're in the presence of, 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 uh, of Peter Gill, but that presence, although it might contradict any original, and in my opinion, specious notion of integrity, they're exquisite in themselves. When I go and see uh, different productions of my plays that might have been conceived for the Royal Court, and are then produced in theatres in other countries, I find the same uh, euphoric energy of, energy of the possibility of collaboration. I love it, is the simple answer. I love it. I think it's fundamental to the essence of making theatre, is this possibility that actually, you know, I think it's really fundamental now. It's more fundamental now than it's ever been in my lifetime. The f the, I'm, I, I would think of myself as a secular atheist scientific thinker but it's in the making of theatre that my faith is exercised. I mean, exercised rather than exorcised, <laughs> yeah? Because every time I write a play and give it to somebody else, I give it with the faith that they're going to read it with as much clarity and care as they can, and they do. And then when, when they're producing the play, they're going to produce it with as much energy and care as they can, and they do. And they're going to find the best actors that they can and the best artistic team that they can. And they do, and they're going to create working conditions in which those people can thrive. And they're going to do their best work. And then the audience is going to come, and the audience is going to buy into the contract as well and pay as much attention as they can. And again and again and again and again and again in my life, they do. Again and again in my life. And we're operating at a time where both of our countries are governed by people who are leading their government based on the assumption that other people are to be suspicious of and afraid and resisted. And again and again in my life in the theatre, I've come across the possibility that other people are to be trusted and, uh, and inspire me and uh, infuse and enthuse me with the wonder of the things that people are capable of. <laughs> Oh, 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 guys! <laughs> oh my god! Fucking Americans, man. <laughs> Thank you.